okay hello students welcome to 60 thoughts today we are going to discuss about one of the interesting topic how to find a different path of length from the given graph okay let us see one problem find the number of path of length 3 from a vertex a to d second question is find the number of path of length 3 from a vertex d to b third one is find the uh, third one is find the different uh, path of length 4 from a vertex a to d fourth one is find the number of path of length 4 from a vertex a to d by using the given graph okay okay so before we solve this problem first we should recollect two important result one is uh, how to find a path of the length second result is how to find adjacency matrix okay first we see uh, the first important result is path of the length okay so let us consider g b a simple graph with adjacency matrix a with order r then we write the number of different path of the length r from one vertex to another vertex so here we consider the vertex is v a to v j is always equal to a power r where a is called what adjacency matrix so if we want to find uh, the number of different path of the length r from one vertex to another vertex means we should know what is adjacency matrix from the given graph okay so what is our first target is using the given graph we have to find adjacency matrix okay so what is adjacency matrix adjacency matrix is nothing but a equal to a i j by n by n matrix okay so here we consider n is nothing but number of vertices okay so in adjacency matrix we consider both row and columns are only vertices okay so that is equal to 1 when we will assign one is not the number of edges between the vertex one vertex to another vertex we are saying value is 1 otherwise zero zero means there is no edge between one vertex to another vertex then we are saying value is zero okay so this is called adjacency matrix okay so using adjacency matrix definition we find a adjacency matrix from the given problem okay which means from the given graph okay so in the given graph how many vertices are there four vertices are there so here n value is 4 so we consider both row and columns are what vertices only so step number 1 what is step number 1 to find adjacency matrix okay so how to find adjacency matrix uh, using given problem with the help of uh, adjacency matrix definition we write a adjacency matrix for this graph okay so we know that a equal to a i j that is equal to 1 0 Uh, when we assign one number of edge between the vertex one vertex to another vertex otherwise zero okay so we consider uh, four vertices are there we consider four vertices are both rows and columns okay so here how to write uh, first one is so what is your first vertex a a so here uh, any edges uh, so here there is no edge between a here you see here vertex is there you consider one more vertex also a so here there is no edge between a and d a so we are saying value is zero okay next coming to you take first vertex a second vertex b uh, you see a and b any edge how many edges how many edges are there a and b we have one edge is there so we are saying value is one why because there is there is a edge between a to b so we are saying value is one otherwise is zero coming to a to c a to c you see one edge is there so assign value is one otherwise zero next a to d a to d you see how many edges are there there is no edge between a and d okay so therefore we assign value is zero similarly you take second row uh, first vertex b c here column wise you take first vertex a okay what is b to a b to a Uh, edges are there there is a edge between b to a so assign value is 1 what about b to b b to b means self loop okay so there is no edge so you assign value is 0 what is b to c b to c also there is no edge between b to c so we assign value is 0 similarly b to d b to d one edge is there so assign value is 1 okay similarly we see second third row c to a c to a one edge is there assign value is 1 c to b there is no edge so we assign value is 0 next c to d 
uh, here we have one edge is there so we assign value is 1 coming to last row what about d to a d to a there is no edge so 0 d to b d to b one edge is there so assign value 1 what about d to c d to c also one edge is there so assign value 1 what about d to d d to d means self loop there is no edge between d to t so assign value is 0 okay so therefore this is called adjacency matrix so what is your adjacency mat matrix a equal to we get four rows and four columns okay so this is nothing but four by four adjacency matrix now we know adjacency matrix okay so using adjacency matrix we have to find number of different path of the length r r value is given uh, some two questions they given r value is three remaining two questions they given r value is four okay so step number two step number two i am going to find a, a square a cube a power four why we can why we finding a square a cube a power four means the given length is r r value is three r value is four so we have to find a power three a power four matrix okay so a square can be written as a into a we multiply a matrix two times we get this one this is called a square matrix similarly we find a cube a cube can be written as a square into a otherwise a we write three times okay so a square matrix we know into a matrix if you multiply these two matrix we get a cube matrix next i am going to find a power 4 matrix why we are finding a power 4 uh, remain the third question and fourth question they given length value is 4 so that we find a power 4 a power 4 means uh, we multiply previous uh, one that means a cube into a otherwise a square into a square otherwise a a into a into a into a four times okay so here a cube into a if you multiply this matrix into a matrix you get a cube a power 4 matrix so now i am going to find what the number of different path of the length from the given problem so what is your result the number of different path of the length r from one vertex to another vertex is a power r a is nothing but adjacency matrix so uh, previous step step number one we found adjacency matrix a value right so what is r value r value is given r value is 2 means here we get a square a square means using adjacency matrix we find a square a cube a power 4 and so on okay so what is our first question first question is the number of different path of the length 3 3 means here you see r value is 3 from one vertex to another vertex what is your starting vertex e result b a to b j here a to d is what is your answer your answer is 0 how to write this one is go to a cube matrix r value is 3 so we get a cube matrix okay how to write a uh, path value is 0 uh, you see we start from a vertex to d vertex okay so a to d what is your answer your answer is 0 okay so a to d there is no path okay so that you here you get 0 how to verify uh, a to d is 0 in the given graph so you take a vertex okay what is end vertex d what is the meaning of a to d we have to travel from a vertex a to d by using three length three length means using three edge okay so i am going to travel from a to d this way a to b length one p to d length two here we reached a vertex a to d with two length only but here what is our question we using three length we have to reach a to d or not okay if path is there then you get some answer here there is no path from a to d that then only you get zero you see if you go this way a to c one length c to d another length but we reached a to d with two length only but what is your question using three length we have to reach from a to d okay it is not a uh, possible so that there is no path from length three from a vertex a to d is zero what is second question the number of path of the length 3 from a vertex d to b is 4 okay how is possible now we will verify so what is the second question is we have to uh, travel from a vertex d to b by using length is 3 it is possible or not yes it is possible you see b vertex is there d vertex is there what is b to uh, d to b value is 4 so we have four different path is there in the given graph you take starting point is d i want to travel from d to b how many length we are using three length okay if we take d 
D to B one length. Again go to D two length. Again you come to uh, D. You get three length, and also we reach the point is what D to B is uh, with three length one way. What is again way? You take D to C, C to A, A to B. Third three length is there one two three. This is second way. What is third way? You take A to B, B to A. Again come to B. It's the third way. Okay. What is fourth way? D to C, C to D, D to B. This is four way. So in this graph, we have four different path is there. So therefore, the number of path from the length three from D to B is four. Similarly, is like third question. What is third question? To find the number of path of length four from here. Vertex A to D is eight. How many path is there? Eight path is there in this graph. Okay, I will tell you one path. Okay, you see matrix A to D. Totally, you get answer is eight. Okay, so eight different path is there. I will tell you one different path. Yeah, yeah. Vertex A to D. Okay, by A to D, we are unable to uh, reach directly. So that we go different uh, path with four length. Okay, A to B one length. B to D two length. Again, you come to D to C. Three length C to D, so uh, we reach the A to B with four length. This is one of the way. What is another way? You come A to C, C to D, D to B again B to D. This is second uh, length, second different path. So uh, by using same method, we get uh, how many path? Eight different path is there from the vertex A to D. Okay, what is okay? So what is last question? The number of path of length four from a vertex A to B. How many path is there? A vertex to B vertex. There is no path, so value is zero. Okay, you see, I want to travel from A to B with length four. How many times? A, A length B one. Again, go to B to A two, A to B three, B to A four. If we use four length from A vertex A to B this way, again we reach it A vertex A only. Okay, but we have to reach what? B vertex. So there is no path from A to B is zero. Okay, yeah. Suppose, suppose they are asking same graph. Find the the number of path of the length, ah, uh, length one, ah, uh, from a vertex, uh, what? A to B means, ah, uh, how many uh, path A to B? You get only one path A to B. So one length, it is possible. But here the number of path length, ah, um, but here the number of different path of the length four from one from A to B is. Zero. The number of path of the length four from A to B is what zero. Me too. Hope you are enjoying this session. Thank you.